found that the JavaScript API leverages the GPU to render dynamic feature tiles efficiently in the browser, we can create highly interactive data exploration applications. Let's take a look at this app in which I visualize flash flood warnings across the United States across a 10-year period. Each warning is represented as a polygon of varying sizes and shapes. Each polygon is rendered with a highly transparent symbol so that as these warnings are stacked on top of each other, we can see areas that have experienced more warnings versus others. Now, I want to emphasize that this is a lot of data. Previously, maybe a couple of years ago or so, we would have to create a set of static raster tiles in order to efficiently display this in the browser. But this is a single feature layer that we can dynamically work with. I can take advantage of the filter API that Jan just demonstrated to, dem to take a look at this data by season, all with just a couple of lines of code with fast performance. But why stop there when we can do even more in the browser? I queried this layer for statistics and grouped those stats, not just by the season, but also by the duration of that the flash flood warning lasted. So I can immediately see that most warnings were issued in the summer months and tended to last no more than four hours. And I pushed those stats into this custom chart so I could easily visualize that and added some interaction so that the user can quickly update the map to see the spatial patterns that might exist in different months and times of the year, as well as the duration. You can also get a more local view of this data. So here, as the user drags the mouse, I'm highlighting counties, and not only doing that, but filtering all the warnings that intersect that county. Notice that I de-emphasize all the other features, so it's not just a straight visibility filter. I'm applying a feature effect to all the features that fall outside that filter. So these are grayscale. That way, I can still view the filtered features, but de-emphasize the other ones, but still show the context in the rest of the layer. I noticed some interesting patterns. For example, Arizona. These flash flood warnings tend to be short-lived, but they, I also note that they tend to happen in the summer months when the monsoon season is in full force. If I move to other parts of the country, such as the central United States, I see that these warnings tend to last longer and throughout the year. Notice how fast that performance is. This is just one example of the type of interactive data exploration maps that you can create using the latest version of the JavaScript API. And I'm very excited to see the type of apps that you build using this technology. Thank you.